The renowned canals in the compact Italian city of Venice are usually threatened by flooding, but now, weeks of dry winter weather have made it impossible for gondolas, water taxis and ambulances to navigate. Concerns over a never-ending severe drought come on the heels of another emergency that heightened last summer, which saw less than half the amount of normal snowfall in the Alpine mountains and caused the country's rivers and lakes to suffer, Legambient, an Italian environmental group, said in a statement Monday. The country's longest river, which runs through the Alps, has 61% less water than normal for this time of year, the group added. The lack of rain, a high-pressure system, a full moon and sea currents are contributing to Venice's unusually low tides currently. Venice, a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site comprised of 118 tiny islands linked by canals and bridges, was built in the 5th century. The Grand Canal is the main route through the city. Rising sea levels are the usual primary threat to this historic city situated on a small, fish-shaped island at the northwest corner of the Adriatic Sea. The frequency of high-water events have gone from two per decade during the first half of the 20th century to more than 40 per decade now, eroding the foundations of tightly packed buildings along the canal's edges, according to NASA. This 2001 satellite image emphasizes Venice's fragility. Like the fabled city of Atlantis, the city is at risk of being submerged. Autumn and winter high tides flood city streets and raise water levels on the canals, making it difficult or impossible for boats to squeeze under the bridges. In the coming days, forecasters predict temporary relief from much-needed precipitation and snow in the Alps.